We humans, we've always been explorers, ever since our ancestors first looked up at the night sky and wondered what was out there. Now, we're searching for planets beyond our solar system, and not just any planets, but planets that might harbour life. And guess what? We've found some pretty good candidates. Today, we're diving into why Proxima Centauri b has scientists so excited this isn't just any exoplanet, it's one of the closest, most intriguing worlds outside our solar system, and it holds the potential for some mind-blowing discoveries. So, buckle up space enthusiasts as we embark on a journey to our nearest exoplanetary neighbour. Let's find out why this little planet has captured so much attention. Now, when we talk about space, distance is a whole different ballgame. We're talking light years, not miles. But here's the thing about Proxima Centauri b. It's just 4.24 light years away. That might sound like a lot, and in human terms, it's an impossible distance to travel with our current technology. But on the cosmic scale, it's practically a stone's throw away. This proximity is what makes Proxima Centauri b so tantalizing. It's close enough that our current telescopes can actually gather information about it, unlike many exoplanets that are thousands of light years distant. And who knows, maybe someday future generations will develop the technology to send probes or even manned missions to get a closer look. Think about it, we can study this planet in ways that we can only dream of for most others. We can analyse its light, look for signs of an atmosphere, and maybe even detect clues about its surface composition. Being relatively close means Proxima Centauri b is bathed in more of its star's light. This makes it brighter and easier to study, allowing us to potentially detect subtle variations in its light that could reveal even more about its secrets. This is crucial, because the more we learn about Proxima Centauri b, the more we understand about the formation and evolution of planetary systems in general, including our own. It's like having a front row seat to the universe's greatest show, and we're just starting to grasp the implications of what we might discover. All right, let's talk about the habitable zone, sometimes called the Goldilocks zone. It's the region around a star where the temperature is just right, not too hot, not too cold, but just right for liquid water to exist on the surface of a planet. And guess where Proxima Centauri b is located? You guessed it, smack dab in the habitable zone of its star, Proxima Centauri. Now, why is liquid water so important? Well, as far as we know, it's essential for life. Every form of life we've ever found on Earth needs water to survive. So, finding a planet in the habitable zone is like hitting the cosmic jackpot, at least in terms of the potential for life. Now hold your cosmic horses. Just because a planet is in the habitable zone doesn't guarantee the existence of life. There are a lot of other factors that play into it, such as the planet's atmosphere, its magnetic field, and even its geological activity. But here's the exciting part. Proxima Centauri b's presence in the habitable zone means that the possibility of life, at least in some form, is a legitimate scientific question, not just science fiction. This is what makes Proxima Centauri b so captivating. It's a real-life example of a planet that could potentially have the right ingredients for life to emerge. It fuels our imagination and pushes us to ask some of the most profound questions we can ask as a species. Are we alone in the universe? What else is out there? So, we've got this intriguing planet, Proxima Centauri b, hanging out in the habitable zone of its star. But here's the thing about that star. It's a red dwarf. They're smaller and cooler than our sun, but don't let that fool you. These stellar lightweights are the true elders of the cosmos. They sip on their hydrogen fuel so slowly that they can last for trillions of years. That incredible longevity gives any planets around a red dwarf ample time to cook up some life. 
And that's what makes red dwarfs so fascinating. But hold on a second, because there's a catch. Red dwarfs offer long-lasting energy, but are temperamental. They unleash powerful flares, making our sun's flares look like sparks. Imagine a planet bathed in dim red glow, and suddenly, bam! Intense radiation strips away the atmosphere and boils oceans. That's the concern for Proxima Centauri b. It's orbiting close to its star, within flare range. Is it a cosmic oasis or an irradiated wasteland? Scientists are working hard to find the answer. Now, let's talk real estate for a moment. We focus on planets that share similarities with our own. We're looking for planets that are a bit more down to earth. And that's where Proxima Centauri b comes in. Proxima b is a rocky planet, similar in size and mass to Earth. It has the basic ingredients for a world that could potentially support life. It's a tantalizing thought, isn't it? Now, let's talk about Proxima b's orbital dance around its star. It's a bit different from what we're used to here on Earth. You see, while we enjoy a leisurely 365-day trip around the Sun, Proxima b zips around its star in just 11.2 Earth days. That's right, a year on Proxima b is shorter than some people's vacations. This rapid orbit means that Proxima b is tidally locked to its star, just like the Moon is tidally locked to Earth. One side of the planet is always facing the star, basking in perpetual daylight, while the other side faces away, shrouded in eternal darkness. Now, you might think that this kind of extreme temperature difference would make the planet uninhabitable. And you wouldn't be entirely wrong. But remember, we're talking about the potential for life as we don't know it. Who's to say that life couldn't adapt to these extreme conditions? Maybe there are creatures on Proxima b that thrive in the twilight zone between the scorching day side and the frigid night side. It's a mind-boggling thought, but then again, the universe is full of surprises. All right, folks, let's talk about atmospheres. That invisible layer of gas that surrounds a planet, protecting it from space. It's essential for life, shielding us from radiation and providing air. Now, does Proxima Centauri b have an atmosphere? An atmosphere can make or break a planet's habitability. A thick atmosphere could shield Proxima b from its star's radiation. Without it, the planet would be inhospitable. So how do we figure it out? We need to get creative. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST for short. This incredible instrument, the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, is designed to revolutionize our understanding of the universe, and that includes exoplanets like Proxima b. Now, the JWST won't be able to directly image Proxima b's atmosphere, but it can do something even more clever. It can analyze the light that passes through the planet's atmosphere, if it has one. You see, Different gases absorb different wavelengths of light. So, by looking at the spectrum of light that makes it through Proxima b's atmosphere, we can identify the gases that are present. It's like taking a fingerprint of the planet's atmosphere. If we're lucky, we might find evidence of water vapor, carbon dioxide, or even oxygen, all of which would be strong indicators of a potentially habitable world. Of course, we might find something completely unexpected, which is always exciting in science. The JWST is scheduled to launch in the coming years, and when it does, you can bet that Proxima b will be high on its list of targets. Who knows what secrets this enigmatic exoplanet might reveal? Proxima Centauri b isn't just some cosmic footnote. It's a siren song to astronomers and space enthusiasts alike a cosmic laboratory right in our backyard. The scientific community is taking notes. A potentially habitable world just a stone's throw away. That's enough to make any scientist start packing their bags. 
but it would still take tens of thousands of years to reach Proxima b. Projects like Breakthrough Starshot aim to change that. Imagine propelling a nano-sized spacecraft at a fraction the speed of light. We're talking a journey of mere decades. Breakthrough Starshot wants to capture close-up images of Proxima b. Imagine the data we could gather, maybe even hints of life. The challenges of interstellar travel are about as daunting as they are inspiring. But consider this, overcoming these challenges isn't just about reaching Proxima b, it's about pushing the very boundaries of our technological prowess. We're talking about developing new propulsion systems, laser technology and communication methods that could revolutionise space exploration as we know it. Imagine the spin-offs, the advancements in other fields, all stemming from our pursuit of this tantalising exoplanet. And let's not forget the sheer audacity of it all. Humans, a species that evolved on a pale blue dot, daring to reach for a world orbiting another star. That's the spirit of exploration, the insatiable need to know what's beyond the next horizon hardwired into our DNA. Proxima Centauri b is a test, a test of our ingenuity, our resolve and our commitment to unravelling the universe's grand tapestry. And I, for one, am confident that we will rise to the challenge. Now, we've talked a lot about Proxima Centauri b, but let's zoom out for a moment and consider its stellar host, Proxima Centauri. It's a red dwarf star, the most common type of star in our galaxy. That's right, folks. These dim, long-lived stars are everywhere. They're smaller and cooler than our sun, but don't let that fool you. These stellar dwarfs have lifespans that can stretch for trillions of years. That's right, trillions. Plenty of time for life to potentially emerge on any orbiting planets. And this is where things get really interesting. By studying Proxima Centauri b, we're not just getting a glimpse of one potentially habitable world. We're gaining insights into a whole class of planetary systems around these ubiquitous red dwarfs. Think about it. If we find evidence of life on Proxima b, or even just conditions favourable to life, it could mean that the universe is teeming with life on planets orbiting these long-lived stars. Proxima Centauri b also presents a fascinating case study in planetary formation. How does a planet like that end up orbiting so close to a red dwarf star? It's a question that keeps planetary scientists up at night, and for good reason. See, the process of planet formation around red dwarfs is thought to be quite different from what we see around stars like our Sun. The intense radiation and stellar winds from these stars can wreak havoc on young planetary systems. So, did Proxima Centauri b form further out and then migrate inwards? Or did it form in its current tight orbit despite the odds? These are fundamental questions that touch upon the very origins of planets, and Proxima b is giving us a front row seat to the investigation. By studying the intricate dance between Proxima Centauri b and its host star, we're piecing together the complex puzzle of planetary formation in environments vastly different from our own. It's like having a cosmic laboratory right at our doorstep, and the data we gather will reshape our understanding of how planets come to be. Proxima Centauri b isn't just another exoplanet. It's a unique opportunity to understand what might lie beyond our solar system. Its proximity, location in the habitable zone, and potential for Earth-like qualities make it one of the most exciting places for future exploration. As we learn more about this mysterious planet, we get one step closer to answering the age-old question. Are we alone in the universe? Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the universe's mysteries.